how to set up a mobile respawn. What's up everybody, this is Gunther Severlo. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a simple mobile respawn. Let's go to the editor, we're going to go to Stratus, we're going to go to this location. First thing we're going to do is we're going to place a Blue Force Soldier. This will be our player. And then we're going to place down a car. It's going to be a hunter. I'm going to face him this direction. And then we're going to take the driver out of it and delete him because we don't need him. And double click the car and go to the variable name and we're going to type in car. Very simple. We're just going to name the vehicle car. Hit OK. And if you hover your mouse cursor over it, it'll say hunter in brackets car. I'm going to go to the map, scroll in, and then we're going to go to F6 for markers. Go down and choose a triangle. Place the triangle and I'm going to change it to blue. And then at the variable name, we're going to name this respawn underscore west and then click OK. So you, if you hover your mouse cursor over it, it'll say triangle in brackets respawn underscore west. We're going to go to attributes at the top and then go down to multiplayer and then we're going to at the top here just make that one. Make one for maximum players and then we're going to go down to respawn and set this to respawn on custom position and then from here go down to respawn delay and set that to five that'll be five seconds click ok next go to the top left here and save the scenario we're going to name this mobile underscore respawn The next step is we're going to go to the mission folder itself. We're going to add two scripts, add some code that will enable this mobile respawn to work. We're in the mission for the mobile respawn on Stratus. Here's the mission SQM and here are two scripts that you guys will need to create. First one is this one. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a notepad document, a wordpad document, or a Notepad++. If you have Notepad++, use that. You start a new document, and what you're going to do is you're going to create a space, and then you're going to type out while, close, open bracket, true, close bracket, space, and then do. Hit enter, and then put a squiggly left bracket, and then hit enter again, and put two forward slashes. Now this line here is basically just a comment. It won't be read. It's just for your own notes on what this code is. And then in quotes, you're going to type respawn underscore west. And then space. Next is set marker position. All one word. It'll be POZ, POS, not position, but POS at the end. So set marker pause. And then space get pos or g e t p o s and then space car and then semicolon hit enter and then type sleep space 5 semicolon hit enter right bracket and then semicolon quick review this is what this does the function of respawning is the respawn so blue 4 is respawning at the marker which the marker is going to be set or it'll get the position of the car so the car is the hunter in the editor that we named car so basically the marker is going to move to the position of the car every five seconds and that's what that's going to do all right so save that and when you save it save as when you save it as a type all types save it as an all types file so that it doesn't say this 
or Tranprevent is this, TXT. You don't want it to say that, so you're going to name it Respawn Marker SQF, not TXT, but Respawn Marker MKR SQF, and then save it. The next little script we have is start a new document, press enter so you have a space, and then put a left bracket, space, right bracket, space, E X E C small letters and then capital V M space in quotes respawn MKR dot SQF and then semicolon. Just like the other script, save that and you should be all set. So next the next step is we're gonna go back into the mission and test out the mobile respawn. We're back in the editor. We're going to play the mission and we're going to play it in multiplayer quote MP. So basically what we're doing here is creating an MP LAN server. After you've done all that just go down to the bottom right click OK and then choose your choose the rifleman click OK. The server will start up and we'll be on the map just hit continue. So what we're going to do now is I get into the vehicle and go to the map real quick and you should notice that the marker is kind of on top of the vehicle itself so So as you notice, the marker moved to the position of the vehicle every five seconds. Now you could reduce that time if you wanted, but that's what it is. All right, so we're gonna come up here and we're basically gonna kill ourselves and we're gonna respawn at the vehicle. And here we are at the position of the vehicle. Alright guys, uh, I hope you like this, I hope you find this useful, apply it to your missions or use it in your missions, and that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.